This is Adam Rosh from Roshcast, and I want to welcome you to episode one of The Reveal, where I will take you inside the mind of a test taker to deconstruct and connect the dots of a board style question so you could become a better student, transform how you learn, and excel not only on high stakes exams, but also in your general medical knowledge. So let's get started. A 14-year-old boy presents complaining of intense pruritus in his groin, axillae, and between his fingers after returning home from summer camp one week ago. He reports several other campers had similar symptoms. On exam, you note excoriations in the inguinal region and axilla surrounding scattered erythematous papules. Which of the following is the most appropriate treatment? So this is a two-step question. First, we have to make the diagnosis and then identify the treatment for the diagnosis. When I look at this question, some things stand out to me. Let's highlight a few things here. So intense pruritus uh, is very important. And the other area that really stands out is excoriations. So this 14 year old boy is scratching and erythematous papules. uh, So that is likely what he is scratching. And lastly, the other thing that uh, I think is important here is he was at summer camp and several other campers had similar symptoms. So this is something contagious. For example, it is not an autoimmune disease. It's not something like eczema um, because uh, large groups of people uh, have this now. So let's look at our answer choices. And prednisone um, certainly can be used for pruritic type of reactions. Uh, However, uh, if this were something like an autoimmune process, uh, maybe prednisone would be the case. Uh, So don't think that D is correct. And so what we can do here is cross out D. Acute aconazole, uh, lindane, and promethrin. So these are all treatments for some type of infestation or fungal infection. And promethrin and lindane are very similar uh, in what they treat. Cutoconazole here is the outlier. So let's look at cutoconazole, which is going to treat fungus. And I do not think this is a fungus. Um, They would probably provide us with some type of description of scaling uh, or maybe something like a tinea uh, because it is a group of campers. So this is definitely something to throw us off but doesn't look to be, appear to be the answer. Then there's lindane and permethrin. Both of these treat scabies. So this scenario is addressing scabies here. Now we have to decide between lindane and permethrin because theoretically both can be used to treat scabies. However, lindane has been associated with seizures and therefore is no longer recommended in the United States. So the answer then, what we are left with is permethrin. And so if we click on answer C, click submit or next, we have our answer here. So permethrin is the treatment for scabies. Hey everyone, before you go, if you're interested in your own QBank, whether you are an MD or DO, a PA or an MP, Simply go to roshreview.com and sign up for a free trial. See if Rosh Review's content is right for you. Keep learning, keep working hard, and always have a sense of mission about your work. Now is your time. This is Dr. Adam Rosh, signing off.